वेलकम टू स्टेट मीडिया दिस इज जी वीरेंद्र कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द आईसी इंजीनियर्स सो इंटरनल कंबशन इंजीनियर्स इन दिस मॉडल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द व्हाट इज इंटरनल कंबशन इंजीनियर हाउ टू क्लासिफाई द इंटरनल कंबशन इंजीनियर्स एंड व्हाट आर द एप्लीकेशंस एंड व्हाट आर द बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द इंटरनल कंबशन इंजीनियर एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनल कंबशन इंजीनियर्स before going to start our class what is heat engine heat engine heat engine is a device which converts the heat energy from a chemical and chemical composition uh, chemical combustion of fuel into a mechanical energy this is the basic diagram we can understand the basic concept behind the heat engine in which the heat in which uh, the heat is taken from the outer sources that is called source and uh, which dispersed to uh, one source that is called sink and in which the heat engine takes the heat energy and converts into useful mechanical energy this is called a heat engine and this heat engines are classified into basic two groups before going to what is combustion the combustion is the process of burning down something or burning some chemical fuel in the presence of oxygen and which liberates this some kind of heat energy it's called combustion next we can classify the heat engines into two main groups one is external combustion engine and second is internal combustion engine so external combustion what is mean by external combustion engine the combustion takes place outside the engine cylinder is called external combustion engine where if the engine if the combustion takes place inside the engine cylinder is called internal combustion engines so external combustion engines example such steam engines turbines and uh stirling engines and in internal combustion engines there are lot of examples we can discuss the basic popular examples are auto engines diesel engines where vehicle engines here the some basic examples for combustion uh, external combustion engines these are the steam engines you can see uh, we are not seeing present days it is mostly depleted because of the um, internal combustion engine domination so this is called a steam engine um, in which you can see these some persons uh, continuously feeding to the uh, uh, fuel in the form of coal to the furnace in which the combustion will take place after that that heat is taken to uh, the some water which converts into steam and that steam or uh, which is the driving force for the engine uh, which is used for running the vehicle so older days we are using this type of technology but nowadays we are using internal combustion engines here the some uh, photos it was taken from google and coming to ic engines so as we discuss i ic engines are the engines in which the combustion takes place inside only so before going to deep into the ic engines we need to uh, discuss about the basic parts in ic engine or basic terminology we can how to discuss in which the tdc position of the piston or simply we can call it as tdc and this is bdc and that the distance between the tdc and bdc is known as stroke volume and this is called cylinder and the cylinder inside diameter is called bore and what is tdc position the so tdc position these are the basic definitions top dead center tdc position when the piston moves at the top most position is called a tdc position and if the piston moves towards the bottom dead center the bottom most position of the cylinder is called as a um, bdc and the as i told bore is the bay, uh, inside the cylinder diameter is called bore and stroke length and the the traveling distance or the piston travels distance is called stroke length or and if you discuss if you uh, 
looking into the uh, volume point of view, the stroke volume is nothing but the inside the cylinder, the piston will moves from TDC to BDC. The total uh, movement inside the cylinder is called, you can simply you can call it as stroke volume and the clearance of clearance volume. It is also one of the basic important uh, uh, point. In each and every engines, at the topmost position, we have a, some clearance volume which is needed to um, mix the fuel with oxygen and uh, for better combustion, some, we are providing some clearance, it is called a clearance volume. And the clearance volume and stock volume both together as total volume. And total volume we can denote with Vt which is equal to uh, pro, uh, swept volume plus clearance volume and Vs is swept volume and v, Cv is the clearance volume and another one basic parameter called compression ratios which is very very important parameter in IC engines it is defined as the ratio of total volume to clearance volume Simply it is denoted with the small r and uh, which represents the engine capacity also and uh, some basic classification these are the uh, about 12 classifications about the IC engines first one according to the type of fuel so IC engines are classified into petrol engines, diesel engines and gas engines we are all very, very familiar with the petrol engine, diesel engine and gas engine also. And second classification is number of cylinders. Based on the number of cylinders, we can classify engines into single cylinder and multi-cylinder. And uh, third one going to, um, according to the thermodynamic working cycle, so with the auto cycle and diesel cycle and fuel cycle. If you look at number of strokes, engines are classified into two stroke engines and four stroke engines. And according to the engine speed, we can categorize it into low speed engines, medium speed engine and high speed engine also. Based on wall locations, we can classify it into L, L head type engine and T head type engine, I head type engine and F head type engine. And here are the sums. Another example, according to cycle of alignment, horn general cycle engine and vertical cycle engine, according to method of ignition, spark ignition engine and compressed ignition engine. A nice one method of air intake or charging, natural air, aspirated engines and supercharged engines. And turbocharged engines are also there. And according to type of bowling, hit and miss method, quality method and quantity method. And according to type of cooling method which are used in engine, these are air cooled engine, water cooled engine. And finally, according to other applications or based on the application, we can classify it to stationary engines, which is stationary in position, marine engine, locomotive engine, aircraft engine, and finally automobile engine. These are the basic uh, classifications. Other classifications are also there. And coming to engine parts, these are the major parts which is very important of some point of view. And see, first one inlet valve, and uh, these are the exhaust valve, and topmost we have a spark plug, and this is called cylinder, and this is called piston and the piston is connected with the crankshaft with the connecting rod and this is the crank and this is the crank pin and this is the gadget pin the gadget pin is which is used to connect the crankshaft and piston and crank pin will um, connect the connecting rod with the crankshaft these are the basic parts and another one is intake manifold and adjust manifold so what is intake manifold? Intake manifold is a manifold which houses all inlet valve and inlet components everything. Exhaust, uh, exhaust manifold also same. 
which houses the adjust valve on its setup. And we see the basic structure. After that, we have to discuss about the working principle also. Before going to that, so we need to uh, look at the diagram. So in which the candle is there, and um, it, which is used to actually in this diagram, the air is taking the heat energy. So what is the basic law? Now see, in an IC engine, the, the drive, driving force is the modular pressure. So look at the diagram in which the air is taking the heat energy. When we heat the air, air it, will, it will start to expand. But it is the same situation happened in the closure room. What will happen? The pressure of the air molecules will be increased. So in internal combustion engine also, the inside, inside the engine cylinder, it is a closure room or it is a closure shell in which continuously we are uh, giving some kind of force or uh, that, that is for compression inside the molecule starts expand and at the time of expansion there is no chance to expand the molecules because it is a closed shell so automatically the fuel molecules or, or air molecules which starts um, generate some kind of heat energy absolutely the temperature will rise and pressure also will increase at the time of uh, peak pressure or peak temperature so we are giving some kind of heat energy which will ignite the throttle figure see this diagram in which A plus fuels are uh, initiated with the spark plug and generate some kind of energy and pressure is equal to force per unit area and force is equal to pressure into area. If the, in the engine cylinder, the pressure lacks as a um, factor because area is constant and if more a pressure, the force will be more. And internal combustion engines, these are the some uh, pictures for applications of uh, IC engines uh, which are automobiles and daily life we are seeing in trolleys and uh, garden purpose machines and locomotives, aircraft and marines also in everywhere we can see the IC engines applications next Combust definition of combustion engines so combustion engines are the machines uh, that deliver the mechanical work through a linked thermal and uh, combustible process. Mechanical engines work in the com uh, obtained from the chemical bounded energy of the fuel. The fuel energy which are using in com combustion engines in which the fuel is taken from outside into the in uh, inside the engine cylinder and uh, with, with, uh, with the aid of some kind of air and air and fuel mixture combines together forms some mixture or charge which is after uh, compression some ignition is provided with that mixture or charge at the time of combustion the fuel will generate some kind of pressure energy that is directly diverted into a uh, engine cylinder uh, piston, piston head and the piston will reciprocate inside the engine cylinder at the trot, uh, reciprocated motion we are converted into rot rotary motion with the help of crank and crab shaft. And these are the engine inside diagram. So we can see the multi, uh, uh, multi cylinder engine and we can see the animation also. These are the engine configurations. These are the principle converting the rotary motion into reciprocated motion with the help of crank and crank shaft. And now coming to engine parts. So these are the valves which is operates by cam mechanism in which uh, in each and every uh, engine 
there are two types of valves are available one is inlet valve and one is another one is exhaust valve so inlet valve are basically provided at the inlet manifold and the exhaust valve provided at the exhaust manifold inlet valves are used to um, allow the air or charge inside the cylinder and exhaust valves are sent to uh, scavenging the um, waste gases or harmful gases from the inside the cylinder and the valve springs and valve lifters this is called valve spring and this is called valve lifter so for keep the valves closed we need continuous uh, force on the valves that will provides the valve springs and valve lifts are used to uh, rise on the cap and it helps to open the valves also and these are the different arrangements of valves on the cams if you see it is the cam shaft and this is called cam and the cam is directly in con uh, contact with the valve and these are the another example in which the cam is not directly in contact with the uh, valve in which the one lever support is there where we need operate the cams more far uh, from the piston cylinder uh, head so this type of method will be used this is called cam shop in cam shop the number of cams are available uh, which is used to direct the uh, valve timing also and this is the cam lock and this is the spark plug for providing better ignition continuously spark is needed for that we are using uh, good perform spark plugs generally we, uh, it is fitted at the target center and uh, in which two types of uh, spark plugs are there one is cold spark plug and the another one is uh, hot spark plug what the difference between the cold and hot spark plug means in a hot spark plug the ceramic layers are um, extended and the primary part of ic engines are piston so piston uh, is a very important part in ic engine so which will located inside the cylinder it is always continuously um, reciprocate inside the cylinder and it transform the chemical energy into mechanical uh, energy also and another one is cylinder head the cylinder head is the one, um, basic part in which all the uh, valves and spark plugs on casings are um, water jackets and other parts are connected with the engine cylinder head next engine block these are the engine block uh, engine block is nothing but the outer shell of the engine cylinder which houses various parts and the cooling cooling supply and etc and shafts also connecting rod so connecting rod this is the connecting rod so actually it is connects with uh, piston with the current crankshaft uh, which is used to transfer the uh, rotary uh, reciprocating motion from piston to uh, rotary motion to uh, crankshaft This is a cam shaft uh, which uh, which converts the rotary motion into reciprocating motion. These are the arrangements. So we, we, you can see the design shape. Uh, these are the shape which is used to um, convert the rotary uh, reciprocating motion into rotary motion. Uh, another 
third one is uh, piston rings. Uh, each and every piston having uh, some rings are available. So which is uh, which is also called uh, compression rings, uh, which is used to sealing the compression pressure in the cylinder. Uh, 